Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm extremely nervous for my dentist appointment. I'm kind of freaking out. Um, it's just anxiety, you know? And anxiety is fear of the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen. And dentist, it's, it's a pretty common fear to be afraid of the dentist because there's needles and there's... Uh, but I'm gonna be fine, I hope. I'm gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of work within a very short period of time. So we're gonna go through a little transformation here. That was very mumbly. We are gonna go through... Mumbly? Is that a word? We are gonna go through... I am gonna go through. <sighs> You're lucky. You are lucky. I'm also lucky. Everyone is lucky in different ways, and luck is a perception. But yeah, I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna go through a lot of dentist treatments within a short period of time. Which means that my nervous system is gonna go through a change, an upgrade, let's call it like that. And it's exhausting, but it's necessary. And I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna benefit from it in the long term, you know? Going to the dentist is kinda good to do. It's kinda, our teeth? Our teeth is actually... I, I do believe that our teeth is connected to the rest of our body. I think everything is connected. Everything. You and me too. In different ways. And I think each human being has different kind of missions together. Different lessons, different understandings. And we're all teachers and we're all students. And every time someone comes in and teaches us something, we also have opportunity to teach them something. We always have something to teach someone else when we are learning something. Our parents, they are our best teachers, but we are also their best teachers. And I think a lot of parents forget this. When a child comes into this world, which is a magical moment, right? When a, when a, chi when a child comes into this world and experiences this world and be begins a new life, then a teacher is born. And also a student, obviously, because it's a newborn little infant, a little child. I don't really have anything to say except, like, I'm going through my anxiety attack with you here, basically. Talking it out. We're talking it out. We are talking it out. The anxiety. Because that can help, you know, when we talk. Communication. One of the biggest and most important things within our community and our society, and relationships, and with ourselves, and friends, and partners, and colleagues, and bosses, and everyone. Communication. And communication is not only a mental communication. Communication is also emotional communication, I believe. I think so. And spiritual communication. One more. How can we talk it out? We are already. We're, we already started. <laughs> we have already started talking it out, you know? And a lot of people put a lot of anxiety, like, we get anxiety before even communicating about what is bringing us anxiety. So we don't even communicate about it, because the anxiety takes over when we're supposed to communicate why we are anxious. I'm anxious in this world because there's no reversal of the mistakes that we have done. And I say we, because I see humanity as a un, 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 unity. We're all together. We're all doing this together, humanity. And we have uh, destroyed a lot. <laughs> we have destroyed a lot. It can be in our personal lives, but it can also be on a collective scale. And it's irreversible. That's why I have excited. But I also have hope. I have a lot of hope. I have a lot of hope for the future of our generation. The future generation, the, the people who are born right now, the newborns, the, the little small little infants, the teachers, <laughs> the teachers and the students. You know, I have a lot of hope. A lot of hope. And it's not like the hope that I feel is it's putting it putting putting it on the 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 shoulders of the next generation or the, the generation that are born now and running away from my own problems. Or the own, my own destruction that I have created in my life. No. I'm gonna make my mistakes right. And I think a lot of people in the same generation as I am. The, the Pluto Scorpio generation. I think 
there's a lot of things that we're working on, but behind the scenes, in the darkness, and that's pretty cool. I think I think it's pretty cool, and everyone is doing their best, and we shouldn't be so hard for the generation older than us too, because they also did their best. There's a lot of trauma connected to life, connected to everything that humanity has gone through for years, for centuries, and releasing all of this collective trauma. Oh, I see a hummingbird. Yay! Hummingbird! 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 How can you be a hummingbird? How can you be so cool? Wow. We are a little bit... We're, we're a little bit close up here. We need to go and see the world from a more longer perspective. So what I'm thinking, what I'm, what I'm talking about right now is... <laughs> My anxiety about going to the dentist basically turned into this, but we need to see long term. If we're gonna see from 100 years from now, 1000 years from now, 10,000 years from now, I believe humanity is still gonna exist. So how can we live a more harmonious life when we cooperate with nature? That's the question. Because for the latest years, generations, centuries, <laughs> We have destroyed a lot, but we have also worked and created a lot. We have created a lot of technology. We can use this technology to create a better society, a more healing society, a more a society that is connected more to, to, to nature and to healing and to, to, to what worked in the past too. To look at our ancestors and actually use their knowledge, use their wisdom and use the things that have worked. Psychedelics heals trauma. Psychedelics heals post-traumatic stress. Psychedelics can heal mental illnesses. But in the right circumstances, in the right doses, in the right set and setting. And if not, then no, we can have the reversed effect. And I think this is with everything. Not everything maybe, but with a lot. So yeah, that's, that's how it goes when I have an anxiety. Uh, a little anxiety experience. I do kind of feel like I've talked it out now, so that's nice. Thanks for listening to me rambling about the future of humanity. And have a good day. <laughs> and subscribe if you want to hear me talk about more shit like this.